Welcome to Muscle and Money, the podcast for gym owners aiming to elevate their business. I'm your host, Andres Fiovic. Join us as we explore top strategies of the fitness entrepreneurs, uncovering the blueprints of their achievements and offering actionable advice to increase revenue, boost retention rate, and expand your locations. Whether you're just starting out or scaling your operations, Muscle and Money is your go-to resource. Let's build stronger businesses one episode at a time. Welcome, everybody. Today, we have a special topic to talk about. At. It's one of the most exciting, most passionate, and I got to say, I'm obsessed by it. It's about artificial intelligence. It's AI, guys. So if you're a gym owner running a business and you're thinking about how can you use AI, how can you really utilize it properly for your business? If you have a questions like, what can I do today to increase usage? Or is it really any beneficial today at this time using AI in the business? What are the kind of application you can do on a daily basis? Uh, what software, how do you implement? And what's the value of it? So today we'll discover all of that. There's so many applications that can help you increase profitability, increase sales conversion, increase usage of your own services, explain services better to your clients, and overall maximize profitability by saving money and increasing sales. So let's start by by demystifying one thing. If you guys remember 10, 20 years back, there was conversation with professional photographers about digital camera. Do you remember when... People were saying, oh, there's no way that this digital camera will be better than a film camera, especially when those first digital cameras came around with a one megapixel, right? You know, when you zoom in, it becomes pixelated and everybody was saying no way will ever replace those DSLR cameras. Guess what? No person now in professional world is using, unless hobbyist, is using old well, film-based cameras. Same happened with a blockbuster. Blockbuster were saying there's never going to be a time where people will stream it, God forbid, rent CDs online. Blockbuster doesn't exist. Let me correct. It exists as a one Airbnb store. You can go rent a movie there and sleep in it. Just to kind of put a museum on the brand. There's so many places like that. Today, we're talking about self-driving cars. Will Elon Musk develop a robot taxi? Everybody's saying there's no way a robot can handle all the situations that human can. We are coming into repeating pattern of resisting the change, resisting the adoption of the new technologies. And, you know, dinosaurs didn't disappear just because they were weaker, because they were not able to adopt. The most agile, most adoptable always survive. And I love to what Peter Demenda says. He says there's going to be two kinds of company by the end of the decade those who fully utilize AI and those who don't exist. So let that sink in. By the end of the decade, we'll have two kinds of companies, those who fully utilize AI and those who don't exist. Interestingly enough, right? So how do you go? Where do you start? How do you play a role in this world of AI? And probably you already know about tools like ChatGPT, right? Everybody's using it. This is the basic, basic foundation. It's giving interface as a taste of what's possible. But this is not where you get value. You get value in utilizing ChatGPT at scale. So you're taking ChatGPT to a totally new level. So I'm gonna give you some examples. Let's say you run a gym and you're challenged with retention. You wanna increase retention of your members. And let's ask how can you use AI to increase retention with AI? One of the things that we will probably agree if we are in the same room that the more people know about services, the more they are educated about the wellness, well-being, the better it is for attention. The more knowledge they receive from you, it's better for attention. So you can go and charge a PT and ask, give me a list of 50 topics that I, as an owner of, let's say, F45 training, can talk to my new members to help them educate about the importance of wellness, fitness, and things they need to know in order to maximize their participation in my gym. So you gotta be accurate in this list. ChatGPT will spit out the list. Incredibly easy. So 
And then some of these topics will sur surprise you. I'll, I'm just going to open on my computer, let's say a list that I will consider, let's say F45, because I was playing with this. And I get to the topics like, welcome to F45, expectations of your first week, nutrition and diet, fueling your body for F45 workouts, injury prevention and safety measurements, maximizing your F45 training, tips and techniques, community building, right? Getting to know your F45 family. Like this is just first couple and I have 50 of them. So how do you use that? Now I assume that you have some marketing automation that you're using, either email or text. There is a way that you're already communicating. Just your communication can be taken to another level. And this is supposed not to be how-to session, but I'm just giving you an example because you might be thinking like, how the heck am I using AI? What do I do with this? But let me walk you through the process. Imagine now where you can create all the topics. Imagine now where there's a way that for each of these 50 topics, you can create 30 second script, just 30 second script that explains each of these topics. How cool would that be? And then what if you can create 20, 50 different videos, 30 seconds videos, that can be sent as a little drip campaign towards your members as they join. So you can say 30 days journey and you send them 30 videos, 30 seconds video every day on a text message. Everybody will love it, especially if they get to know you and they get to know your gym, they get to know everything about what you're building and they receive education. People don't know the importance of nutrition and diet. They don't know importance of many simple things. They don't even know expectations of the gym. So let me give you an example of one 30 seconds video. So let's say we put this expectation on the first week. So I'm uh, reading a script for Coach Greg, a friend of mine who runs F45 Studio out of Coral Springs. He says, hey there, I'm Coach Greg, owner of F45 Training, Coral Springs West. Welcome to our fitness family. In your first week, expect to be challenged, but also supported. Our workouts are designed to push you, but remember, it's not about perfection. It's about progress. You might feel a bit sore. That's your body adapting to new routine. Don't worry. We are here to guide you every step of the way. Remember to hydrate, eat well, and get plenty of rest. We're excited to be part of your fitness journey. Let's crush this week together. So now you have topic, you have script. All you need is avatar. Video avatar that's going to create and speak this on your behalf. One software that I recommend using, checking out, is called HeyGen. H-E-Y, gen.com or AI or something. As soon as you Google HeyGen, you'll find it. What HeyGen does is require you to record two minutes of you speaking in front of the camera and then uploading it and then pushing it out. So if you're using system for drip campaigns, for lead nurturing, like Referizer or any text or email marketing automation that can sequence the, the messages based on the triggers, you can create 30 videos, 50 videos, and just start dripping out to them. And you can even wait until they watch the first one then to send a second one. Or you can wait a couple of days. You can se sequence this any way you want. This is an incredible way for you to teach them about your passion, your business, your journey. Now imagine their friends comes and ask them, how's the gym? They will tell the story to their friend, the story they hear from you. They will tell their friend, my God, it was challenging, but it was fun. First week was, I felt a little bit sore, but after that, I felt stronger. Everything that you're communicating with them, they will start learning and adapting consciously or subconsciously and then teaching others. It's much easier for them to recommend you, their friend, if they know more about your business than not. Does this make sense, guys? Think about it. This all takes, let's, let's put it this way. A recording avatar takes 10 minutes. Create three different avatars. Takes two minutes to record one. And when I say record avatar, means record yourself with a cell phone camera, looking at the camera and talking for two minutes. You can talk about anything, your hobby, your house, your kids, your whatever, relationships, those words will not going to be used, just your tonality and your energy. 
So make sure you're creating avatar by standing, not by sitting, because your energy will be different. And make sure you follow instructions of HeyGen, like create account, put it on, and do it. Guys, I can't explain the value that you are going to get. You are multiplying yourself 30 times, but you're also multiplying information and consistency that you develop and deliver to your clients as an ongoing basis. I'll keep you posted about my test project with Craig to see how it goes. But this is something that you can use today. Beside text, and this is text and video, it's incredibly simple. In any daily activity, especially marketing activity, I'm just going to mention a couple of tools. You know, Referizer is also working on an AI agent that, that will replace a bunch of these tasks for your, from your employees. You know, you can develop all the software, but if your employees have to handle it and they have already too much, uh, something will fall through the crack. So now the AI coming as well in the, in the scenario where one by one task will be moved into AI world. So let me explain. See, when you hire your manager, your front desk person, your employee, you put in a job description bullet points, what do you expect them to do? So it can be your job requirement is to answer the phone call, explain the services, invite them to a tri trial, sell them on the services, right? Explain benefits and close them, answer the objections. Okay, that's like sales. Then you have billing failed. If people are not paying on time and you have to collect some payments and update credit cards, you have list of the people you need to call every week and you need to call them and update credit card. That's a skill, that's a task. Then you have running event. Let's say you wanna go out and do appreciation event. You wanna invite everybody on Saturday class where you're presenting something special. So somebody has to either email, text them or call them. You wanna communicate that. So every one of these tasks can be transferred today to AI, literally. There's AI technologies, for example, from phone calls. If you don't know air.ai company, it's a freaking incredible. It's two-way conversation with a digital AI agent that you will not recognize how good it is. So things like this is happening all the time. Guys, AI is developing so rapidly. I just recently heard that, you know, they're understanding now how animals communicate. They get to the moment that they can understand that dolphins have a language and dolphins have different language in different areas. Also birds, they figured out that birds give their kids names. They teach them their names so they can communicate and call them by name. So AI is helping us really understand animal language and communication. That was never possible before. And if you're waiting for everybody to adopt AI and then you're thinking like, oh, I'll, I'll do it later next time. The time in the AI world is, is changing so rapidly that, that I believe the people who are on a, on a waiting list will be left behind because a company who utilize AI will annex employee productivity, will save the overhead 10 times. It's going to improve the conversion of the leads. So if you're not using AI in the leads, conversion generation, you're already use, losing money. Because if it costs you, you know, 15 to $25 to generate Facebook lead and you get 10 to 20, 30% conversion rate and somebody's getting it for $10 and getting 60% conversion rate, can you even compete? Can you compete with somebody who is generating leads for six times less than you? It's almost like putting six times more money in the ads without having to spend that much. Think about it. You know, I encourage you to spend time thinking about AI. Like roll your sleeves and learn about AI like you did first time about your booking software. Probably every software company is now racing to implement AI. We do in Referizer is going to be from the voice to the text, to the conversation, to doing things that your managers and employees, and we have a deadline like by by end of the quarter, we'll have AI implemented in the system. It's going to be more accurate, more consistent than pretty much anything that that any employee can do. Quite frankly, it's going to be hard to compete. 
And I'm so pumped and excited about it. But I'm thinking about the tools like ChatGPT, tools like HeyGen exist today. One of the really cool places that I start playing a lot is called GPT for Sheets. Why I like it? Because I can run the prompt on a certain topic multiple times. So I can create a list of 50 topics for my gym and I can create immediately in the same page 50 different scripts and I can review them all and I can modify them. Something a little bit more advanced. And then you can integrate that with Zapier and Zapier can run the HeyGen to automate all creation of all 25, 50 videos for you. So literally in a matter of an hour, you can have all the 20 or 50 videos, depends how many you want, create it. And all what you need to do is transfer them and create them in your campaign to launch them. So this is my passion, guys. AI is here to stay. If you are employing the company and thinking like, oh my God, what the heck? Is AI after my job? Let me tell you. It is. And it's not directly, but I like the saying that people using AI will replace people not using AI. So if you're employing a company, make sure you find out about AI and you implement it there and you maximize your productivity 10x because whoever is controlling AI is controlling their destiny. So no matter where we are, everybody's racing, everybody's facing AI, everybody's implementing it. And I want to encourage you, go full on. So share the comments, wherever you're listening, watching this, put your comments about what your thought about AI is. Did you implement it? What, what are you thinking? Is it here to, to be like something temporary or is it here to stay? I know my opinion and I already expressed it, but I want to hear yours. And next episode, we'll talk about different tools in AI. I will be sharing my findings and putting together a document about 200 tools that are currently available for everything from video, photo, chat, text, editing, creating, composing, voice, name it. You can literally have AI tools now that can send a voicemail drop to your whole audience and just deliver voicemail messages that each and every one of the voicemail message is personalized with your voice to it. So uh, from voice to video, to photo, to text, everything is now being AI. And a majority of the applications that are currently developed in the AI world are in sales, sales and marketing. If you're not using AI in sales marketing, guys, you are behind. So probably this <laughs> is one, I don't want to say last episodes I created as a person, but it will be coming soon episodes that you will be listening and watching. They are probably AI created as well. So that's going to be fun to see if, if you guys can spot the difference. For now, I want to say thank you guys for joining me today in this session about AI. I hope I triggered your mind to talk a little bit about, think a little bit about how you can implement this. And I want to hear from you. Let me know uh, if you're already implementing it. I might have you as a guest on my podcast to share your experience with that. Or if you want to learn more, put some chats and comments and let's communicate. Until then, stay well, enjoy your day and see you next time. And that's a wrap on another impactful episode of Muscle and Money. A big thank you to our guests for sharing their insights. To our listeners, thank you for joining us on the journey to build more successful gyms. Remember, today's insights are just the beginning. Apply what you learn and keep pushing boundaries. For more inspiring conversations and expert advice, subscribe to Muscle & Money on your favorite podcast platform. Leave us a review and share with fellow gym owners on the mission to elevate their business. Until next time, keep flexing those entrepreneurial muscles. Here's to your success in and out of the gym.